Hey everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we're going to continue our Foundations of Yoga series with Uttanasana, also known as the Forward Fold. Very soothing, grounding, awesome pose. So hop on the mat and let's swan dive right in. <laughs> For Uttanasana, the forward fold, we're going to start in our mountain pose, which we did a video for last week. So you can refer to that video um, to get the foundations of mountain pose. So I'll quickly just go through my checklist, if you will, here as I lift and lengthen up through the crown of the head, spread my weight evenly between all four corners of the feet. Lifting the toes helps with that. Tucking my pelvis in to meet my pelvic bone, and then finding that natural lift in the heart as my shoulder blades squeeze in and together and down, chin parallel to the earth. For beginners forward fold, I recommend taking your paws to your waist and maybe even hooking your thumbs behind your waistline. In fact, I'll turn to the side here just so we can demonstrate this a little more clearly. I'm tucking my pelvis in, drawing my navel, in stacking the spine and coming to this like superhero pose. In kids yoga, we call this like Wonder Woman or Superman. Shoulder blades squeezing together. I'm gonna inhale, extend through the crown of the head. Now as I dive into my forward fold, I'm gonna keep pressing into my heels. I'm gonna keep drawing this energy up through the arches of my feet just like I established in mountain pose. So I have an active body lifting. So I'm grounded through my heels, but I'm lifting and lengthening up towards the sky, just energetically, subtle body lifting, lengthening. Okay, here we go. I inhale, lifting through the crown of the head. As I exhale, I'm gonna slowly, keeping this nice lift in my heart and a nice straight spine, I'm gonna move forward. The tops of my thighs are drawing up, kneecaps drawing up, navel drawing in. I begin to shine my sit bones towards the wall behind me and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, moving nice and slow so I can really be honest about what this journey is like. It's a tough thing sometimes in yoga to really witness what the body is actually experiencing and what your body might actually be experiencing right now is a screaming in the hammies. That's okay, the hammies need some love. They need more love than we give them. So we'll soften through the knees. In fact, bend your knees as generously as you need to. And in time, we'll, we'll get to a point where we can straighten the legs. So I'm here about halfway, extending through the crown of the head, bending my knees if I need to, bending them as generously as I need to. And I'll begin to melt down, belly to the tops of the thighs. And then once the weight of my head releases down, I'll draw my fingertips either to the mat, to the earth, palms to the shins, or maybe even I grab my elbows and rock them a little side to side. If this is a little bit of a balancing challenge for you, I recommend taking the feet and stepping them hip width apart, just like we talked about in the Tadasan video. So here I am in my forward fold. Bending my knees if I need to, really shining my sit bones up towards the sky. So if I had a tail, it'd be shooting straight up towards the heavens right now. I'll grab my elbows, rock a little side to side if that feels good. Uttanasana is about letting the weight of the body hang over and then being with the breath. So we have other versions of this pose that are a little more active, that really draw the nose to the knees and all this stuff. Here we're just going to practice as beginners or even as non-beginners, just creating a little space in the hammies. And then using the breath, I cannot stress this enough how important it is to take nice, solid, sweet, deep breaths here because that's where I'm going to really create some movement, some space, this liquid spine as we like to sometimes call it. And that, that's where it becomes fun to play with too, where instead of just holding in a painful posture, we're moving and kind of grooving with the breath. <laughs> It's kind of an awkward place to be talking. Um, so I'm going to stop talking for a second and come into the pose so that I can really release the weight of my head completely and fully, drawing my navel up towards my spine. I hang forward, Uttanasana. <sighs> Bending the knees as generously as we need to. And sometimes pulsing here, bending the knees, 
Straightening is good, creating a little bit of space. Again, shaking the head, yes, no. And using that breath to find a little bit of lengthening as you inhale. And then releasing on the exhale, fold. Perhaps a little more length as I inhale. And folding on the exhale. Uh, to come up, I'm going to bring my hands to my waistline, hooking the thumbs behind. And same thing, I'm going to press into my heels, draw my shoulder blades together, elbows behind me as I lift and lengthen up through the crown of the head. Heart lifts. I use my thumbs actively here to remind me to tuck my pelvis in. And nice and slow, sending breath all the way through the backs of the legs. I begin to scoop my tailbone in, find that lift in the heart. I have this awesome tingly sensation going all the way down to my toes right now. Feels good. And I come back to mountain pose, Tadasana. I can take a couple breaths here and dive back in. I do want to say one thing. I don't know if I have time to say this, but I'm going to try to sneak it in really fast. Often when I'm in forward fold, I think about the backs of the legs as two pieces of saltwater taffy. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but it works, it works for me for some reason. If you were to imagine these muscles from your sit bones all the way to your heels being like two pieces of saltwater taffy, if we were going to share that taffy, you wouldn't be able to just grab one end and me grab the other and us walk away and break. That would be very painful. Um, but rather, we have to think of these muscles like that piece of candy, that salt water taffy. We're going to, in order to share it, we're going to have to create a little bit of space. We're going to have to move it a little bit, breathe with it, laugh a little bit, you know, take our time creating space, melding that taffy so that eventually ah, we break off with that treat and we feel good and walk away. Maybe that's a little far out there, but you know what I'm saying is you can't just dive into the forward fold and expect the magic to happen. You have to be with the breath. You have to look at what's really going on in the backs of the legs. And then, of course, find what feels good. Okay, so that was Uttanasana, a forward fold. I hope you enjoy trying the posture. If you have any questions or comments, please, please leave them in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the Facebook page so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Namaste.